Ravaka Prakadia, Meko Prakadia, Bifra, Jalifra, 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 the voice of the Lord came to him audibly. Let's come back home to 21st to our time. Who E W? I mean, uh, E Hakim. Christ walks into his room as often as possible. This man of the Spirit had encounters with Christ. Peter was in the prison. Who came to him? An angel of the Lord appeared there, took him by, and he walked through and got to the city gate. The gate opened supernaturally. He led him out as a go, and he disappeared. That was the norm of their time. Angelic appearance was normal. It was never a big deal. What is it that has chased our angels away from us? Let me tell you why the angels departed from this current church. We have timed the Holy Spirit. Churches run one hour. They just come, we are a chosen generation, blessing the light. God is going to help you. Hallelujah. The Bible says that Jesus, amen. Get your offerings, they all go home. the church they have no regard to the holy spirit nothing somebody falls and i said no no no, no you, you, you don't fall you're disturbing us so they've chased away the holy spirit chased away jesus so they've built their own church so that's why they die of cancers they die of diseases no glory nothing philip baptized the Ethiopian eunuch after he was done the Bible says immediately he was caught up to the next city now that was what was recorded that was that means that Philip had was transporting as often as possible because that wasn't uh, a big deal he was used to being caught up his transportation was supernatural in those days the question is what's happening to us what is it that we have broken what is that that what what have we done that have shut the doors of the realm of God it because it has been classified into religion have faith believe and that's it don't seek deeper things of the spirit if you go deeper, they say hey, he's a heretic, he's a witch, he's a is he's it. He's the church people are the ones that will tell you how terrible you are. The moment you start exceeding this dimension, they say, Don't go there. He's 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 a spirit, he's a demon. Yet the Bible that they profess their Christianity from was a record of different encounters from the realms of God. Amen. How did a man of the same passion, his name was Elijah, how did he go? A white wind descended literally. The sons of the prophets were watching off the bank of this river, but they didn't cross. He only crossed with Elisha. They watched how the white wind descended. <laughs> A man that was born of a woman like you was transported to heaven with a white. Hey, Elisha was there watching, eh? and then he entered. When you see these things, are you not challenged? Why do you read these things and say that they told you that I am here to preach? Elijah was caught up in the wind. Oh, the God of wind and storms. Uh, they're not bring it to, I don't care what wind you're going through. <laughs> Rubbish. 
they try to make sense or give you a moral way of thinking how to fight your problems from a literal event if you don't know how to interact with creatures beyond here your life will be limited under satanic and natural limitations you must begin to rise up and connect to the realms of the spirit as a matter of fact in the beginning you were not in this earthly dimension you were in the garden of eden interacting with yahweh sin was what brought you down you know you hearing what i'm saying so you deserve a restoration to your default get back to your default you were a creature of the garden of eden you live in the garden of god god comes in every cool of evening to talk with you get back to your position righteousness qualified you to return back to the eden of god Nobody enters the frequencies, the electricity of Zion, and be the same. Your increase in the spirit decreases your carnality.